Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, just a quick review of what is going on with the 240, with the Y240. Why it's taking so long? Why is this guy sitting here too long? So long. Well, um, and what I have done with the car. Now, first of all, it's taking so long because I've been saving. I was saving money to get the motor. Second, you know, what what I have done with the car is like as you can see now, I painted the engine bay all gold. It looks nice. Very nice. And also I stitch welded um, this side of the strut tower. You know, this was done a while ago, so I just, you know, took the opportunity and then I finished that on this side. Um, I put everything back up, the coolant reservoir, the uh, fuse well, power steering reservoir, the lines, um, that hits shield for the brake, uh, brake master cylinder. I put the power brake power booster back on. Um, what else, what else, uh, power steering bushings, the specs, good. New power steering bushings, the rack bushings. And also I put that, uh, that aluminum uh, bushing for the drive shaft column. Um, so um, yeah, I saw the black 240, you know, and I took the, the, the steering wheel, I put it on this car, with the short hub and quick release. And also I have this guy here. The harness bar, the harness over here, got the harness. Um, we also relocated the battery to the trunk because we need the space for the intercooler piping and also the intake piping. And I got a little surprise for you guys. Um, this happened yesterday. Okay. The one gate came home yesterday. I went to pick it up yesterday to the JDMD part and right here in uh, New Jersey. Uh, very good people down there, you know, they give me a very good price for it. Um, yeah, so we tow it home, brought it home yesterday, loaded down, you know, this is the 1J JX100 with the 1R54 transmission. Banging. I love it. It's just so sexy. It's just a turn on just looking at it, you know. Um, this is the BBTI motor. This is the new motor. This is a single turbo. Or the single turbo, single turbo, single turbo here, single turbo. Nice, it looks really fresh. Then the motor looks really good. You no, know, it's very healthy. There were like three, there were another four, let me see, four, four motors over there. I think I picked the healthiest one, I guess. Um, I couldn't tell just by the oil, you know, like the oil is really fresh. Look, it's not that bad. It looked like, I don't know. Maybe they did a reason tune up you now before they chop it, you know? Who knows? But it does look really fresh. See? Compared to the older motors, my goodness, they were black. And also transmission fluids spread out today. He, yesterday was all over the I just cleaned this. Um it was bad. Uh the transmission fluid was very um uh, it was very fresh too, so yeah. Hopefully I picked a very uh, healthy motor. So um, I got a lot of parts for it already. I got the mount. I got the excessive mount, excessive work mount uh, for the 2J to the uh, S13. I got new motor mounts for the S13. I got the transmission brackets, uh, that, uh, the transmission mount. Uh, what is it? I got a new water pump. I got uh, I just ordered like also a new timing belt from Grady, a uh, new serpentine belt, um, that uh, power steering bracket to hold the pulley, you know, from a Texas work as well. Um, I don't know why it's broken, but it was always broken. We don't need this anyway, so this is gonna be out, you know, because we won't fit on the 240, you know. Uh, yeah. I love this motor, I've already opened it, you know, compression tag is good, you know, uh, man, can't wait to get this guy running, man, I'm so excited, I swear, I'm so excited, you know, oh, I got the inner cooler piping, uh, from, uh, CX Racing, and also I got the, um, that, uh, the down pipe from CX Racing as well, as you guys know, you know, the down pipe from the, from the, from the, and the Toyota motor is on the left hand side, so we have to trace it a little back to the right, you know. And also, um, fuel lines fuel line is on the 
is on the driver's side. So we have to modify the fuel lines, trace it all the way, all the way along with the with the brake lines, and dump it down there. You no, know, it's a big project. Now, hopefully, I get the motor in. I don't know, maybe a week or two. You know, depending how fast your stuff come. I ordered the dry shaft as well. It takes three weeks to build. Uh, what else? I still gotta order the, the, the wiring specialty. I call wiring specialty today. They said that everything for OEM is ready to go. Ready to go. If I order it tonight, I should have it by Monday. So I'm not in the really rush. I just gotta look at that. Uh, that uh, what is it called? The plugs. Make sure that everything is OEM. Just make sure. I gotta make sure that it fits. Um, what else? That's pretty much, man. Um. I just want to share everything with you guys, you know, what is going on with the 240 because I've been gone for at least like, I haven't filmed, I haven't recorded for like two weeks. You know, my last video was when I was cleaning the, the, the engine bay and then I said everything shut down because work. But uh, I'm back on duty now. Uh, yeah. Take a look at the motor again. It's nice. Man, I can't wait until I have this guy running, you know. Uh, yeah. So excited. So excited. I got a whole bunch of parts now coming. Hopefully by mid next week. So when I get all the parts, I think I'm gonna make. I'm gonna record another video to show you guys what's up. And uh, yeah, as usual, you know, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. You know, like say, you know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know, and also please like and subscribe. You know, follow and subscribe. You know, as always, you guys have a wonderful day and. See you guys later.